Hey, what's going on guys? Today, let's have a look at this Ultimia Poseidon E40, a native 10 tp projector with a thousand NC lumens, Netflix certified and Android 11. On top of that, it also has autofocus, Google Assistant, Chromecast built-in and much more. So let's do a quick unboxing and then I'm going to leave in the room to see what this projector is all about. All right, so this is what you get in the box. Of course, we have our E40 Poseidon projector, remote control with dedicated buttons to YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Plus, a Google Assistant Direct button. This should be the autofocus. Yeah, you need to play around AAA batteries. We have our massive power brick. Instead of leaving this inside the projector, they put it there. We got our power lead. On this side, we got our HDMI cable, user manual, and the warranty card. And of course, guys, our projector looking cool. Look at this handle here. Looks like it's, I think this is metal. Wow, we got the logo there on the side. So we have our Ultima logo there on the front, a piece of ventilation, we got our lens. On the side we got one speaker there. At the top we have our power button and on the back Ultima sound. This is for the speakers, we got our power in, one USB, one HDMI, infrared receiver and we got our headphone jack, more ventilation there. On this side another speaker similar to the other side and at the bottom we can see some specs rubber feet and a tripod mount there i believe this is all plastic i think this is metal the handle it does look cool guys look at that is that um, midnight blue color with the satin effect and here we can see the chrome ring around the lens, the receiver there on the front. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's go to the living room. Let's see what this projector is all about. Okay, so the projector is now on. And as you can see, this one is quite big in terms of screen projection size. And guys, if you move the projection for some reason, the projector will autofocus and it will keystone adjust on its own so you don't need to do anything at all as you can see perfect you can use the remote to focus manually the projection if you wish to in terms of screen size in relation to the distance this is probably the biggest one we tried here on the channel this is my hand for size comparison and as you can see this one is quite quite big in terms of sharpness, we need to consider this is not a thousand pounds projector. Currently is around $500. It's not the cheapest we try, but I don't consider this to be an expensive unit. I consider it to be a budget unit. So normally these budget units, they get a bit blurry on the corners. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, let me just go really close to the wall. You can clearly see subscribe there on this one share and if we move to the other side we can see subscribe very clear and like on that red dot we also use this screen to check some colors and to see the sharpness and in terms of basic colors guys it looks pretty good i'll let you guys decide but for me it looks pretty good and we do have these thin lines and thicker lines there let's get close to the wall and you can see they are quite sharp there and the thicker lines same here we can see the scale of gray so pure black all the way to pure white let me step back a little bit look at that looks pretty pretty good of course we're going to test the fan noise and the lux and another thing i should mention this one netflix certified so white vine level one in this clip we can see some colors so we can see the green on the background and the red on the parrot this is a good clip to check some sharpness and some colors as well we try to focus here and then we and if we pause on this one we can see the details on the iris there everything guys look i'm gonna be really close to the screen at this guys wow i know it's a still image but nevertheless look at the skin colors here we can see the fur of the cat 
more skin tones and with this one we can see black and white picture and there's a lot of detail on this picture again let's get closer yeah the sky is not too washed out as well so far yeah guys i cannot fault in terms of sharpness and colors looks pretty good so in terms of basic colors these projectors tend to be dark around the edges and with this one we can see that it gets a bit darker on this edge here on the corners basically yellow pure black pure white careful the screen will now flash so we can see how it copes This is a good one, so you can see some motion blur. We do this with the projectors here on the channel. We test the same clips. Cannot see a lot of motion blur on the ball there. Same with the lines here. It looks okay to me to be honest and if you plan to use this projector on the classroom let's have a look at this spreadsheet here to see the detail on the text itself it's not blur there on the corner so it's good down there as well yeah guys i think you can use this in the classroom if you wish to looks good to me let's now see how this projector copes with the room lights on so first stage let's step back so got some lights on it's not too bad of course we're going to lose a lot of contrast that's normal let's turn this light on now we're gonna lose a lot of contrast it's typical not with just this unit but uh, yeah it happens to every single one it's quite bright in the room now so if we turn everything off, this is the proper way. And this will this give us a good opportunity to test the Lux meter. This is not a proper way to do it, but we use it to compare it with some other units on the white dot there, the white square, and we got 194. Yeah, guys, 194. I think this is one of the best we tried here on the channel. And of course, having Google Assistant open Netflix. Netflix. Yeah guys, this unit Netflix certified. We cannot see the resolution anymore at the top. At least I can't. I'm not sure why. But you can tell this is full 1080p. You oh, uh, of course. Now, as I was saying, I, uh, oh, you know, you, you gotta get off school property, okay? Listen, you you, you can't be here. I'm serious. I know you're serious. <laughs> Another thing I noticed with this project is quite fast between apps. 4K video is playing all right, as you can see. Let's play some more clips. Yeah, so far so good. Using Android TV 11, you can see there your apps, Netflix, so you got some recommendations there, Prime Video, Spotify, you got some more apps that are supported like Disney Plus. In terms of Play Store, you get Android TV Play Store, so it's a bit more limited than the normal Google Play Store, but nevertheless, you got a lot to choose from, a lot of apps there. Again, not sure if you can tell, looks pretty quick this projector and if you look at the drm info you can see the android tv google white vine security level one this is what we need to watch netflix full hd and looking at either 64 we can see the device has two gigs of ram installed around 12 gigs of internal storage in terms of the CPU, he has four ARM Cortex A35 running at 2 GHz. 
In terms of the display, you can see there, yeah, 1080p is running Android 11 and the device is not rooted. In terms of phone mirroring, I'm using an Android phone using Miracast. And as you can see, there's not a lot of lag. Yeah, the sound is breaking up a little bit, to be honest. On the iPhone itself, I cannot mirror, so I don't get it on the list in terms of Chromecast. As you can see, works quite well without any problems. From the iOS to the projector itself, but yeah, I could not find a way to mirror the iPhone to the projector. Of course, it's possible to play with this project. It's quite fast. Let's play a little bit just using the remote. In terms of fan noise, guys, this one, it's not too loud. It's not the quietest projector we tried here on the channel. I'm gonna be quiet for a while. I've got my decibel meter here. Yeah guys, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is a quiet projector. You can definitely hear the fan, but as soon as you play something, the noise will go away. And now let's play some music and see how loud these speakers are. <laughs> I don't think you need an extra soundbar. Of course, if you want to add an extra soundbar in terms of quality, it will be better. Let's put it that way. But for normal use, without too much hassle, the speakers from the projector will do the trick to watch a movie. In terms of quality, the quality is good enough, in my honest opinion. Last test, and I know it's been a long video, so we're going to play some files from an external hard drive, in this case a USB stick. So let's start with very heavy file .ts. And wow, it's playing okay. This particular clip, original, has no sound. All right, so let's, let's move on. 1080p. And as expected, it's playing really well. And the colors, guys, again. Look at the colors, I'm happy with this, 4K, okay, so we don't have a codec for this clip, it's playing, but we only see video, no audio, H.264, 30fps, not supported, H.265, 4K, this one is supported, and it's playing alright. Yeah, it's playing really well, guys. So, this projector supports 4K, not all the codecs, be aware of that. In terms of quality, it's it's really good. I, yeah, it's really good, nothing, to, <laughs> nothing else to say. Again, same clip, no audio. 720p should play okay, of course. This is a .ts file. I wasn't expecting this one to play, but yeah, it's playing all right. And again, in terms of picture quality, guys. This sword clip, it's quite a heavy one. And yeah, it's playing. So we had some issues. Normally these projectors are quite picky with these files. This one is playing quite a lot, better than expected. And the sound is synchronized with the image. Yeah, that one was a 70 megabits demo. Yeah, guys, so far so good as you can see. In terms of quality, amazing quality. And it's not lagging. 
I'm All right, guys, let's wrap this video. I think this is probably one of the best units, budget units we tested here on the channel. Colors, sharpness, functions, Google White Vine Level 1 as Netflix. Very, very good unit. I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. The current price, I think it's around $500, maybe a little bit less. But as you can see, it's really sharp for a budget unit. Colors, brightness as well. 1000 NC lumens uh, yeah guys not too much negative points to say hope you like this video if you did click the thumbs up and please guys consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for your support like always thank you very much for watching and hope i can see you all in the next one This is quite cool. All right, guys. See you guys in the next one.